Hi everyone, it's Jill, and I am back again to come back to share the happy mail that I got from a very sweet woman named Amy. She is my teddy boo here on YouTube, and she has incredible videos. If you have not been to her channel, I'm going to link it down below um, when I post this video, but I hope you'll go visit her and uh, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Um, Amy and I are friends on Instagram and we're always looking at what each other is up to and um, uh, she had seen a video I made a couple videos two or three videos back where um, I mentioned trying to go to Tuesday morning to get some bloom chipboard and they didn't have any um, and I did find a bloom six by six paper pad though and I got that and I think I got some labels that day and some envelopes, I think, were the only other things I got. Or maybe a couple embossing folders. But anyway, I had specifically gone there to try to find some of all the pretty Maggie Home stuff that everybody has been showing in different um, videos. They've been creating all these beautiful projects and tags. And um, I wish I had everybody's names of all the pretty things that I've seen that people have been making. Susan Laverty made some stuff. Laura of the Robin Laura. They made some uh, memory decks cards. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think Sybil made some stuff with it or I think she did. Um, I might be getting that confused with something else, but... Um, I don't know. But anyway... Um, <laughs> uh, Anyways, Amy and I got to talk chatting on Instagram and she was saying that she had actually found a ton of stuff and she wanted to send me some and I was like, no, 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 it's okay. I got the bloom paper. I had just been looking for the bloom chipboard, but I did get the paper and I figured I could make that work um, because I had this idea um, to use the, I think it's bloom and grow is one of the words, um, one of the titles on the bloom chipboard. Anyway, I'll show you in a minute. So anyway, Amy um, offered to send me some stuff. And when I got the box that she sent, I literally, my jaw dropped to the floor. Um, and then when I opened it, it dropped even more because you're not going to believe the amount of things that she sent me. So Amy, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I've already thanked her. <laughs> but um, I thought I would come on and show what she sent me. And I don't know all of the collection names. Um, but this is all Maggie Holmes crepe paper. Um, yeah, it doesn't always have the collection name, but you guys have all seen this stuff. So anyway, this is, um, a little pack of different embellishments. I love this bow with the gold dipped ends. I think that would be fun to try to do with some, uh, washi tape, like to add gold to the ends of your ribbons and, um, or your bows when you make them. And then I love all the deers and little animals and stuff that she puts in her things. But she sent me that. She sent me this sweet stamp set. And it has a little um, swan in it. And I think this is a butterfly. It's got an Instax camera. Little rose. And then it says for the thing, more sunshine and flowers. And I'm a huge gardener, so I just love that. I think that's a beautiful sentiment. Don't we all need more sunshine and flowers? I know I do, especially in the wintertime. Um, and then this I had not actually seen before. It's called a sticky notepad. And I think this would, you could, I guess these just pull off. It's like a pad of yellow. A pad, each one of these is a pad of paper. And you can make little um, banners like on your cards or your scrapbook pages or really whatever project you're working on. So I haven't ever played with this type of thing before. So I'm excited to try that. Um, she sent this beautiful uh, washi tape. And let me see if I can tell you what collection. No, best day. I don't know. I don't know what collection it is, but I love these butterflies. Look at the florals. Look at that gold, how it sparkles. And the little birds. I love the birds. So... You know, my, my mother-in-law, or mother-in-love, as I like to say, my mother-in-love uh, loves birds. So I'll have to use that washi tape when I make her birthday card in August. Um, and then she sent these, and I wish I could remember what YouTuber just made these, but someone just created these from scratch. And uh, they did pom-pom trim, and... Uh, they made their own frames and I thought that was so clever of them and I wish I you know I watch things and then I remember the name for a little while and then I come down to film a video and I can't remember who it was 
But um, anyway, whoever you were, thank you for the inspiration. And if I can find it when I upload the video, I'll link the channel down below. Um, I'll try and search based on pom-pom frames and see if I can figure out who it was that I watched. Um, but anyway, so she sent me these. So that'll be really fun to play with. You know, I just think these are so cute. Um, there's just something about pom-pom trim, isn't there? It just makes you smile. And then there's this beautiful pack of embellishments or ephemera, I guess is what it's called. And I love this frame that says details. I love the floral frame, this um, kind of old one. And I think this would be really cute to like put a piece of paper over and stamp a sentiment and use this piece on a card. I just think it would make a beautiful card. But all of the pieces in there, all the flowers and different little tags and labels and things. So really cool. And then this one here, which is also something that I had been interested in because it has all these pretty flowers, these flower die cuts. And then it also has the deer again, the gingham uh, plaid deer, which I just love that. And the little black swan, really everything. How can you not like any of it? It's all pretty. So um, plus the gold letters. So that'll be really fun to play with. And I, again, I can't tell you what collection. It might be Bloom because of the plaid deer. I think it's Bloom. Um, and then she sent these die cuts. I think that's the back, actually. I think this is the front. So Blessed is the name of it. Blessed. And it has happy, loved, all these different sayings in here. Numbers. It has the love on the back that's gold dipped. I love that. I love that word sweet. So just so many different things. You know, just fun to do pages with. And, uh, and then here's this. It's funny, I was looking through, um, you know, every year in February is the anniversary of my husband's death, and it's always a hard time for me. February is not a good month for me, you guys. It's Valentine's Day, and he died the day after, and it's just always a, a tough month. And, uh, and the month before that, in January, on my birthday, um, my cousin died of breast cancer that had metastasized. So it's been a tough few months, <laughs> but anyway... <laughs> Um, what I was going to say was I was looking through my family scrapbooks um, in February. I always pull them out and uh, just try to remember really happy times with my husband and son as a family and the things that we enjoyed doing together and try to remember the happy moments because he's with God and he's happy and he doesn't want to me and I to be sad. So I try to always, you know, if you ever watch uh, the Rory Feek story, um, his wife, Joey, Joey and Rory Feek, um, you know, she died of breast cancer and, uh, she was so inspiring because she knew she was going to Jesus and she did it in such a positive way. And I just think if we could all look at our lives that way with positivity, even in our losses that, you know, don't feel sad. I mean, our loved ones are with God and they're, they are so happy where they are and they want us to be happy. We're in the hard part down here. Um, but our afterlife in heaven is, is just going to be beautiful. And, you know, the last words my husband said were, I'm going to build a place for us. And uh, so I know that he went to head and Timmy and I will join him and then we'll be a family forever in the future. So um, this is just the rehearsal down here. So I'm trying to live my life that way. It's not easy, but um, you do that by choosing joy every day and just counting your blessings. So um, anyway, as I was looking through the old scrapbooks, I just was really inspired um, that I should be scrapbooking still, that I should be taking some of my favorite pictures each year and trying to record them on a special page. So I'm hoping to maybe do a few pages with some of these beautiful um, things that Amy gifted to me. So Amy, thank you again. Look at this beautiful set of chipboard. Now, I do not even know... Amy, I don't even know what collection this is. I know the Bloom one because <laughs> I know that um, this was the one I was looking for because Bloom and Grow, I really wanted to do, either use this as a title on a journal, on my new journal that I need to, to get going or um, even on a page just because I'm trying to really live my life this way. And uh, I am not familiar with this one, but I love this too, Happy Heart, because that's really the key to life right there, you guys. Count your blessings and live each day with a happy heart, because 
though we all go through hard things, there are always blessings. So anyway, this is adorable. I love this. This looks like Maggie Holmes, doesn't it? It's just so sweet. Oh, I just love that. I can't really tell what she's holding. If it's a book or something, I'm not sure. But um, maybe it's a book because there's books here. Um, this is really cute too. So daisies for days. <laughs> Anyway, leave a little magic everywhere you go. Isn't that the truth? And look at this pretty vase of flowers, the butterfly. So just tons of really cute things um, that you could totally use on scrapbook pages. So you are the best ever. That would be wonderful on a card to someone who has, you know, done something sweet for you. Like Muriel is always sending me beautiful things. Um, Miss Cooper's Coop. So anyway, I am going to... Um, Oh, and she sent me, you guys, she didn't just send one of these Bloom and Grows. She sent me two, which means really I could do, you know, I could use this in a planner or journal like as a cover. I, I'm not, I just had something in mind. I'm not sure if my idea is going to work. But I do like that I have two opportunities to do something because she sent me two of them. Can you believe that? Amy, you're just incredibly generous. So... Anyway, Amy, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of these beautiful, 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 beautiful Maggie Holmes things. Someone on YouTube or Instagram was asking everyone to show you their Maggie Holmes. So in addition to all the things that Amy sent, the other two things that I do have is this paper pad bloom and this paper pad chasing dreams. And um, so... And you guys have all seen these, but, um, so I was excited to find these when I was out at Tuesday morning. And I think at the end of one of my other videos, I did show some of the, I also picked up some 12 by 12 papers. These I got on two totally different visits. <laughs> they were the only things I found, um, which was wonderful. I was happy to get them. Um, but my Tuesday morning, I think you have to go right when they put the shipments out and uh, so I'm not always able to do that obviously um, with my schedule so uh, you know it's sometimes kind of tricky to, to get um, the popular items that everybody wants because I'm sure there's not enough to go around um, so then I I did um, the papers I was showing you you know what was I showing you earlier Oh, I showed you on my last video the little wood hearts that Ida had shown on uh, creating. Ida's channel is creating, created to create. I always can't stumble over that. I'm sorry, Ida. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm getting tired. It's, um, it's afternoon on Saturday and I've, I've been busy all day. Um, but uh, anyway, I went to Hobby Lobby to get those hearts. And when I was there, I picked up those little gems that I showed you. And then I told you I also got some ribbons. And so I um, got this garland also in the wedding aisle, and it was $1.50 because it was 50% off. And I just thought it was really cool. Um, it's similar to some of the gold trim that I think people are getting, uh, Maggie Holmes trim. Um, and I thought it was close enough that I could use it for that because I hadn't been able to find any of the Maggie Holmes stuff, like I said. So if you're if you're wanting this and you don't can't find it at Tuesday morning, um, it's on sale at least until tonight at Hobby Lobby, and you can get a big strand of it for a dollar fifty. And I think it's it's six feet long, so it's two yards, um, you know, or six feet, I guess is anyway. So um, so I did pick that up, and then everything else I got. Oh, and I got some stickers. I got two of these because the stickers were forty percent off. And I just liked these. I was making a card. I'm working on this card and I, well, I can't pull it out right now because it'll, all the pieces will go everywhere. But I just wanted like a little finishing touch for it. And I, I didn't want to have to stamp and color something. So I wanted something I could just grab to finish it. And so I saw these there. I was specifically kind of looking for some little flower clusters. And so these are by Paper Studio. Um, and these were 40% off at my store this week. Um, I think they might have been 50% off last week, but I, I didn't make it to Hobby Lobby last week. I just don't, I can't go all the time. So um, anyway, I grabbed two of these because I just thought these were gorgeous. I just think they're so pretty and they have this silver glitter on them. So these are just perfect for spring cards. 
And then I picked up one other thing to use for cards. Because I'm such a gardener, um, I just thought this was really pretty to do little, some little three by three cards with. Because my mom loves having little cards like this when she needs to give a little gift or uh, a get well uh, loaf of bread or something to people that she's taking care of, um, trying to help out who need, you know, just a little loving care. So I'm gonna whip up some cards for her with those. And then, um, then the only other place I looked at Hobby Lobby was the clearance uh, ribbon area, which is what I had gone in there for in the first place was I needed some yellow ribbon, um, or, or really just spring ribbons. I was looking for spring ribbons. So on the clearance rack, I found these little, um, some little buttons and stuff. And these are like a little black velvet button. And I thought those would be cute, tied on tag tops or something. So um, I just I just got a few of the ones that they had there. These ones were 84 cents, 99 cents. So I just thought these would be really pretty. I could even crochet bracelets and use these as the closure. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those exactly, but I did pick up a few of those. I might share some in my embellishment boxes. And then the rest of what I got is ribbon. This one was um, originally $5 and it was marked down to $1.24. And this one is like a, um, it is a, like a netting that has these little tiny sequins on it. And I just thought this was really pretty and like it would be really cool like if you were doing a mermaid layout or a mermaid card. I just thought this, I could maybe use this um, for that. And for, I, you know, I would never pay $5 for it or whatever, but for $1.24, I thought it was worth getting. So I just thought it was really kind of cool. And it would also just be really cool tied in a bow um, around a gift bag, you know, with the handles of a gift bag you're giving for a birthday present because it's so sparkly. So I got that one. Um, I got this one, which is just a sewn piece of fabric with blue and green and yellow flowers because again, it's spring and I thought this would work really well to use as a tag tie through. Um, kind of like what I just showed on my last video, just like this, where I showed um, these little rain boots and the little fabric tie. So I thought I could use this um, as a fabric tie. So anyway, so I got that and this was 99 cents, which is really good for sewn ribbon. This one was 62 cents. And this one is a black glitter and it sparkles so much. I could see Miss Cooper's Coop using this on um, Halloween stuff. And oh, who's that other person? A friend of Amador's who does all the cool Halloween stuff. And she's also done um, a curating Halloween thing. Oh, I cannot. Sabrina? Is it Sabrina Ann? Anyway, um, I just could totally see this being Halloween ribbon. So I just thought it was so sparkly and pretty. And for 62 cents, I couldn't pass it up. And then there's this one here, which is a floral elastic. And this one was, I think, 74 cents. And it's just a really pretty floral. And then this one was 99 cents. And it is a silver, similar to the black one, only it's silver. So that might be really cool for some Christmas tags. And then um, this one was 99 cents and it's a little bit wider, but it's a very light ribbon. And I think this one will make really pretty bows. So I got this.